guys, nobody's here yet, but hi to whoever's watching this later. Um, <clears throat> I look really good. <laughs> I feel really, really good today. <laughs> so here's the thing. I am in so much pain and so nauseated and so sick that I can't even like think straight right now. So I thought instead of making a video tonight, because I had a really good video planned for tonight. Um, hi. Hi, there you all are. Hello, you're all here now. So I decided to do this instead of a video tonight because I'm really sick. I look really good. You can tell how good I feel. So I'm just saying. So I'm just going to take a few questions from you guys and then, um, then I'm going to go and pound my ovaries to death until they stop hurting. So... My better today's worse, um, but thank you. But um, I'll be okay. It's just bad. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um, <laughs> why are we all awake this late? That's a good question. I didn't expect to have that many people awake right now. You must not all live in the United States, maybe, or in North America. Wait, is that? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I meant. I know, I'm always, I'm, this is dinner time for us. I'm actually cooking dinner right now. Oh, I love you guys too. So, yeah, so ask me a few questions and then that will be, I love your hair, any tips? Um, well, this hair, there's no tips. You wash it and then you sleep in it without blow drying it or straightening it at all. And then it comes out really crispy and wavy and frizzy and it's really pretty, so. Um, yeah, as far as my other hair stuff though, I'm planning to do like a hair video really soon and like do a video for like each hair look that I do because I get that question all the time. So I really, it's about time that I do it. I've been getting that question forever. So hi Maggie, you're awake. Yay. So yeah. How long is it going to take for your cyst to heal? That's from Alejandria. How do I say your name? Is it Alexandria, but with a J? I don't know how to say that. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know how long it will take. I freaking... I was too sick to take myself to the doctor. So I missed my point. Oh, I had to cancel it. And you guys know why. That video I made the other day, I was having a really hard day, um, really sick, but um, I don't know because I've, I don't, I've never had an ovarian cyst that I know of, but I've never like known of it, but I have interstitial cystitis, which is where you are, you have cysts on your kidneys and your bladder. So I know what those feel like. And so I can kind of compare the two and they're pretty similar, except the ovarian one feels more ovary, ovarian, cyst feels more like it just feels like my regular cramps my regular cramps are probably 10 times <gasps> yay alicia i should have had you take me i need to text you and i will where is my phone i should do it right now i'm really sorry i've been ignoring you and everybody in the whole world because i suck <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> you're the sweetest alicia's the sweetest you guys and she's like gonna start her channel soon and I'm so excited for her and she's been asking for me to help her for weeks and I ignored the world because that's how I am but last night my mother-in-law had a talk with me and she's like you need to like how do I get a hold of you because I can't and I'm like I'm sorry I have this weird social telephone anxiety thing and oh you're sweet Alicia you're just being nice because that's who you are but thank you um so I told her like, it's hard for me to respond. She's like, if you could just give me like a smiley face in response, anything, that would be great. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So I'm gonna get better at this. Oh, I gotta stir the uh, hamburger. I have no pants on again. Duh. I look really good. Look at my zit, guys. I told you I get zits sometimes. It sounded really cocky, but it's true. Stay. So anyway. I will be your best friend, Mona. I'll be all of your best friends. Is this boiling? What's wrong with the kitchen today? It sure is. I'm not paying attention. 
What time is it? It is 1034. see this is a good angle too wow I just knew okay um, let's find a question good night daughter thank you I have a better idea Wait a minute. you're in my microwave right now just so you know. Yeah, that's a much better angle. That works. Okay. How did your hair just go all perfect? Oh, stop. This is per I this is perfect for what it's it's supposed to be a messy bun, but oh I'm burning the hamburger. This happens every time. Whoops. I know I have to split this in half because I just decided I'm making spaghetti for Danny. But I just decided I don't want spaghetti. I want spaghetti goulash, which means I need to take out half this hamburger and put it in a different pan so that I can have goulash and Danny can just have regular spaghetti. Because I don't want regular spaghetti. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. Who do I live with? My husband. Spaghetti at 11? Yeah, this is our dinner time. We like to eat at bedtime. Well, it's his bedtime. This is like my dinner, lunch-ish stuff. Wait, how do I know I got half? I'm just trying to eye it. Okay. Uh, have I ever dyed my hair blonde? Yeah. Go look at all my old pictures from high school. I put, and like when we got married, I was blonde. I put a lot of those pictures on the the Instagram. Oh, I'm sorry you're mad at your brother. Be the bigger person, apologize first, maybe. I don't know. My neighbor, Mona says. Yeah, whatever happened to your neighbor that you said you became friends with the first time meeting her. That's Alicia. That's who I'm talking about. The one that I've been ignoring because I'm really nice. Um, and she's amazing. And she's the one that's going to start a channel. I am burning everything. I'm not even paying attention. Give me a Wait, am I going to flash you? I don't think so. We're good. It's all good, guys. Um, yeah, see? She's right there. I put that in the wrong one. Dang it! What is wrong with me today? I can't do the things that are supposed to have the things that go right of the times, of the places. I can't even figure the things out that are the things of the places. Wow. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm not gorgeous today, but thank you. Like, what is this? I don't... It actually... Yeah, Danny's home. He's building something in the garage right now. Maybe we'll go say hi to him real quick. How's Danny's grandma? She's uh, doing a little better. She fell again, but she didn't break anything again, so that's good. She's in a... Uh, um, what do they call it, Maggie? Like a physical therapy center place that she's staying in. What is that called, Maggie? I forget. Um, and like people have been going and just spending time with her and taking turns spending time with her, like her kids and her grandkids. I was gonna try and go last night to see her, but then my cousin Shannon volunteered to go and sleep over with her. Um, but she's okay, she's pulling through. She's a uh, She's getting a lot better, so. What's my favorite TV show? Oh, I have so many. Right now it's Big Brother. 
Um, oh, I have so many. I can't even tell you. Friends, I love Lucy, King of Queens. Um, um, why can't I think? Dawson's Creek, that's my guilty pleasure. Um, The Simpsons, Home Improvement. Um, oh my gosh, I'm blinking. I have so many favorites. The Office. There's two, I don't know. I'm blinking. I don't know. Okay, wait. Uh, look what you made me do. You told me I wasn't paying attention. Rehab. Thank you, Maggie. She's in a rehab center. That's good. You subscribe to Alicia Mesa? Good for you! What am I cooking? I'm making spaghetti for Danny and spaghetti goulash for myself because I don't want spaghetti. I just decided I want goulash. And that's different. That's not the same. It's the worst version of spaghetti in most people's opinion. Favorite movie genre? Oh. Um, I really like disaster movies and chick flicks. <laughs> I like I like movies where people have to like they have no choice but the whole human race to like come together and help each other. So like I love like World War Z and um, Independence Day and those types of movies where the world is in trouble by something or another, and the world has to band together to get through it together. I really like that, those kinds of movies. And then I love other disaster movies. I love The Day After Tomorrow, Twister, Dante's Peak. Um, and then I love like pretty much all the chick flicks. And then I love family movies. I love, one of my favorites is um, We Bought a Zoo. And I don't know why that didn't get better ratings, but it didn't. Everybody makes fun of it. And I think it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. And it makes me laugh and cry, and I love it, and the things, so. Okay. Is Shani okay? I'm the same, I'm worse, but I'm, I'm fine. I'll live. I always live. You like We Bought a Zoo? Yeah, I'm not the only one. And people, like, make fun of him for that movie and say that that was, like, his worst movie. Matt Damon. Oh, it's so good. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Miracle from a miracle from heaven. Which one is that? Friday night. Okay, someone give me a question because I have to leave the frame for a second. This was not even a zit. This was like something, and I picked at it, and now it's just keeps scabbing, and then I keep picking at it, and then it keeps scabbing. Um, you can send me a private message on Instagram would be the best. It's very rare that I respond just because I get so many. Um, but I do try and read as many as I can of them. So if that helps you to know that I'll at least see your message even if I don't respond. Um, just to be fair to everybody because I can't respond to everybody, you know. Aw, thanks JC. He says I love, or she says, I love how you interact with your fans. Oh, that's sweet. Have you seen the movie Starving in Suburbia? I have seen that movie. Some people think it's really awful and some people think it's amazing. That's from Captain Creep. Which one is that? There's so many. There's a few of those Lifetime movies that are about eating disorders and I forget which one that is. I feel like that's a recent one, right? I don't know. Okay, hold on one second.
what you just made me do. Look what you made me do. Yes, Miss I already answered that. Did you not hear it? Yes, I've been blonde. At least I was blonde most of my life after we got married. Opinion on the movie Avatar. We love Avatar. That's one of our favorite movies to watch together, Danny and I. And it's so beautiful and well done. I love it. Um, yeah, that's definitely one of our favorites. We have like a set few favorites. We have like maybe 10 or 20 movies maybe that we like to watch together. Um, do movies with sexual assault trigger me? That's from Mona. Um, it depends, I guess. Like for instance, like on the movie 13 Reasons, or the movie, the show 13 Reasons Why, uh, the rape scene where they're in the hot tub, um, that doesn't trigger me because I wasn't raped in a hot tub. Whereas what was being done to the other girl on the bed kind of triggered me because I had something similar to that happen. But so um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. If it was like, if it's like in a shower or like a normal tub, that triggers me. But no matter what triggers me, I'm also getting to that point now where I'm trying to not let anything trigger me, and it's been really good for me to do that. Like, because before, I would find something triggering in every movie that I watched, no matter what it was, even a Disney movie. Actually, those are obviously triggering because the princesses are, you know, perfect and beautiful. But, um, what was I saying? Anyway, do you get my point? I hope I can meet you too, Celeste. Yeah, the rape in the hot tub, that was hard to watch, but it didn't trigger my stuff, but it was definitely hard to watch. Oh, that's nice. Thanks for sharing. Maggie, there's some dirty stuff in the comments. I don't know if you want to be here for that. Just a warning. <laughs> Will I ever come to Australia? I hope so. That's probably, Australia and England would be the first countries I would visit outside of America. And Canada, because that's closer. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tiffany. I appreciate that. Yeah. I love my chairs too, thank you. Did I catch Todd or call? Yes, he was so good. I've watched that video like 10 million times. It's my new favorite song. She's harsh though. Whoa, why am I so choppy? Did anyone else see that? Now it's back to normal. That song, girl. I used to like love Taylor Swift as a person, not just an artist. She's a brilliant artist. The song is brilliant. <laughs> but I'm not liking this hidden message. Like, I don't know. Like, for instance, hold on. I have a lot to say on it. I should actually just do a review. I should do that. I don't know. But then I get scared to do that because in the back of my mind, I'm like, well, what if I go to VidCon next year and she happens to come and I meet her and then she's like, oh, you like trashed me. That would never happen, I know, because she has billions of fans, but I don't know why I feel bad bashing any celebrity on the internet. Am I weird? Is that just me? Yeah, it's me. It's weird. Where I am out of spaghetti sauce. Crap. I thought I had more. So I'll just tell you here then. <laughs> Unless any, is anyone interested in that? Yes, you're in the microwave. Oh, was the door like closed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, like I still love her music. All of her music is like so good. Um, but no, I'm not a big fan of the little mess. I mean, I'm one of those. I. I mean, I feed into it. I listen to the, I watch all the stories and all the drama that happens between her and 
Kim Kardashian and Katy Perry and all that stuff. So like, I know the messages that were in that video and I'm just like, some of them were just crossing the line. Like for instance, like for instance, when she's in the bathtub full of jewels and like, clearly that's a dig on Kim Kardashian who was like held up with a gun. She uses the gun and the jewels and then she's held up and all of her jewels were stolen and I don't know. I should actually just do a whole review because I don't think many of you know what I'm even talking about. This is such a new song. I think I'm going to do like a whole video because I have, I have some bones to pick with whoever. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll talk about it later. Let's talk about something else. Yeah, she was totally referencing that. Mm. Does incest trigger me? Whoops like Flowers in the Attic. I don't know that movie, but yes, incest. Uh, it triggers me in a way, kind of, but not super badly. It's not my top trigger, I guess. It's not my biggest trigger. <laughs> I don't know words today. We should go say hi to Danny. I think this is done. I can't tell. When am I getting my permanent dentures? Live like Pacific said that. Well, as soon as I remember to call and set them, well, they're actually supposed to. What? They're actually supposed to call me and set up an appointment, and they haven't, and so I really should call them and do it. But I haven't. I'm gonna flash my. Okay. I don't have pants on, so I hope you don't see anything. Um, and then to be left a tiny, just in case, because I don't even know what the flowers in the attic is. So. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be brave and rude. My microwave's dirty, huh? I think tomorrow, I know I hate wearing pants. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna call my doctor back and reschedule, and I'm gonna call my dentist, schedule an appointment about my teeth because when I ran into him at Walmart, he said he thought that it was about, it was time to get him. to make them and who knows how long that takes so yeah that's about that's about it that's all I know so far so we'll see hopefully soon <laughs> hmm. oh that's cool live like Pacific that's really cool you make dentures for a career that's really cool do you make the permanent ones too like all in fours do you make those because that's what I'm getting done up here and down no wait down here is all in four up here is implants and bridges uh, the valentine road says will you collab with any other youtubers yes um the ones that i know i'm going to that live in utah soon hopefully like i want to collab with that kid that i met at CVX Live, Sheldon, he's so adorable. He's so my type of person, too. Um, so I'm going to contact him and try to uh, collab with him. And then I also want to do Alicia, my neighbor, when she when hers gets going. Um, and I need to collab with Paul. It's been a while. I haven't even like seen Paul in a while. Um, he's been super busy. I've been super sick. Danny's been busy. And so it's just hasn't 
our little our little threesome isn't happening right now. Not that way, but like our three friends sums. Our friends our friend threesomes. Our friend sums. Forget it. You know what I mean. Please help. How do I start recovering tomorrow? What is the first step? Celeste Louise says that. Well, Celeste. Um, <laughs> it's funny you ask that because <laughs> for the past, like, I don't know, month, every Sunday night, I'm like, okay, tomorrow's Monday. I'm going to start fresh. I'm going to do no eating disorder behaviors. I'm going to exercise and I'm going to drink more water and I'm going to eat healthy things and I'm going to take more vitamins and I'm going to call my doctor and I'm going to get more things done during the day and then each time I fail and so then Monday night comes and I fail not with all those things like I do pretty good with the I've been doing pretty good with the eating disorder stuff but the other stuff like I've just been Ugh. so like I don't have advice for you because I suck at it too but I guess what I would say, because what's made me um, successful in the past, I guess, is when I don't, don't think about it that much. Like, don't try so hard. Hold on a minute. Um, so, oh, Grace, I'm sorry. Grace Wegman says, attention, Jenny. Over the summer, I had to go to the doctor with my grandma, and we were getting... A checkup and it turned out she had a tumor in her lung and I was wondering if we could pray of course we can pray for her everybody pray for wait what's her name Celeste everybody pray for Celeste grandmother she'll be in my prayers I don't typically pray on camera um, my prayers are a little bit different I don't like to do that I like it when other people do that if that's what they do but I just don't so I will put her in my prayers tonight so that's okay, Maggie. I love you. Thanks for being here. So no news on recovery flower? Gabby? What do you mean? Did something happen? I haven't seen her for a while. Did something happen to her? I would collab with Eugenia if she'd let me, but there's no way. Recovery flower is another channel about her eating disorder. What happened to her? Hey. Now I'm like really worried, so tell me what happened to her. Because now that I think of it, I have not heard from her in a while. She has not posted in a long time. She hasn't been on in so long. We're all worried. I think they were asking if you still talk. Okay, so we just don't know. Oh, shoot. I should message her. I'm going to message her tonight and find out. Okay. If you're watching, Gabby, I hope you're okay. All these people are worried. Now I'm worried. Um, I'm sorry I didn't notice before. I've been very self-centered lately. So, <laughs> um, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hope she's okay, guys. Keep her in your prayers. Yeah, I'll message her tonight and I'll let you know. Maybe she'll give me permission to do like an update video about her. Like kind of like what Paul did for me. I could do that for her until she's ready to come back with whatever's going on. I just hope she's okay. Thank goodness. Okay, I'm gonna go. Um, pray, pray for Grace's grandma too. Yes. Pray for all the grandma. Pray for our grandma too. Danny's grandma. All the grandmas need our prayers right now. Why have I got the cutest face? You're really adorable. Thank you. You lie, but thank you. Not today. I feel like I'm ugly today. Like, this is my ugliest. I don't, and I know it's not that bad, but like, this one little thing I feel turns my whole face and my hair and my existence into ugly because BDD is really good. So, it's really helpful. So, anyway, you guys are sweet though. Thank you. Aw, oh, thanks guys. You're sweet. <laughs> Aw, oh, you're sweet too. Thank you. Ariana, which Ed was the most difficult, the most difficult eating disorder for me was anorexia because I love food. <laughs> it's hard for me to stay away from food, so that was my hardest. But. Okay, I'm going to go. Thanks, you guys. I love you. You're all beautiful. I know I'm not ugly, but it's just the stupid voices in my head today, so 
anyway, yeah. I love you guys. Thanks for joining, and I'll see you tomorrow for an actual video. And when I say tomorrow, not Tuesday, Wednesday. This counts as Tuesday's video, so there you go. And I'm going to try... Um, oh, and, well, maybe I shouldn't tell you this. Maybe I will, just because... Why not? Um, I'm going to be covering that Taylor Swift song, the new song, so look forward to that and look forward to a music video with it. And I haven't decided, I have two routes that I want to go. I'm either going to make it funny like and stupid like I usually do, or I'm going to make it serious and I don't know. Which one would you guys want to see? That's what I'll ask you. Yeah, I'll do a review on it. I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, I can do the tabloid thing tomorrow. I've got a new tabloid. I could do a tabloid video too. Funny and serious, okay. Funny. Hmm. Paul, you're here, I'm leaving. Funny, serious, which one? Serious. Paul, you might need to come help me film it. Are you even, like, available this week? He's so busy. I'm sorry, Angela. They go so fast, I can't see. I guess we could go say hi to Danny. If you're on a shoot, I figured, Paul. It's okay. I've shot myself before. Not like that. Would you ever consider getting a service dog to help you with mental health stuff? I've thought about that. I'm allergic to dogs and cats. Um, and even like the non-allergenic dogs, I'm finding I'm allergic to, but I don't think it's the dog. I think I think it's whatever they pick up when they go outside. Um, so if I could find like a non-allergenic one that would need to, that would live inside, but no dogs live inside. So um, that's why that wouldn't work for me. So yeah, keep me updated, Maggie. Yeah. Do we want to go say hi to Danny real quick? Let me get a drink. I'm, I'm, I am parched, my friends. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to drink eight bottles a day and like keep down eight. Keep down eight bottles a day. His spaghetti is a little watery now. That's fine. I know, Mona. I need to go on you now to make money. <sighs> I don't know why. I just, I just get so overwhelmed. It's hard to like pick which project to start first, and then I get so overwhelmed that I can't pick any of them, and then I freak out, and then it's a whole story. But okay, let's go say hi to Danny, and then we'll let you go. Is anyone watching? Yep, you're still here. That's nice. Yay, Paul! I can't wait. You know I'll be awake, so... I'll try and join it. Oh, he must be outside. I don't have pants on. What if the garage door is open? I don't have pants on. It's closed. We're good. Hi. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Danny. Hi. Angela, Chloe, Bree, everybody. That smells good. Luke, Luke, I wrote Lucia. I don't know how to say that. Paul says hi. Hi. Um, Kelly, JC, Ariana, Hannah, Mona, Jamie. <laughs> Um, ugh. what's Danny up to, Chloe asks? Making a rock. That's going to be a rock? Yep. It's a bigger version of this right here. 
He made this, guys, out of foam. That is styrofoam. He's so talented. Mm -hmm. Come on. Stop. So that's what you're going to do with the big one? Yeah. They just want a bigger version of this. So. Why is Mercy on it? Because it's the Rock of Mercy, and then they have a Rock of Justice, and it's, it's small. It's just part of the sketch. Don't worry about it. It's, it'll be, this is actually the fun one. Super smart. Really? But I can't tell you everything. Haha, uh -huh. he can't tell all the secrets of Studio C. Sadly. Well, how much longer are you going to need? Talk about your list drives. There's a no, spider that's in the box that's moving. Danny, it's still there. Not no more. Oh, people are going to be mad. It's in my house. It's in my shop. It the dies. vegans are going to be mad at you. Everything dies. He, oh, Paul's going to be mad. Bye, Danny Paul. just round a spider in spray paint. So now it's just going to be a spray painted dead spider in that box. Yeah, it's preserved forever. You should thank me. Preserved forever. <laughs> Paul said rude. <laughs> Am I gay? No. What? What did they ask? Someone me? asked if I was gay. I'm not gay. Are you gay? I don't know. Um good for you, Alicia. See so you're our kind of people. Listen, I don't feel too bad killing spiders because they can hurt you. They can murder you in your sleep. If it's a black widow. That's so cool. Isn't that cool, guys? Ooh, that one does not smell good. No, this is, this is actually super bad. That is really cool. Look at that. That's brilliant. It's a fake rock that he made out of styrofoam. He's making a bigger version of this rock. Am I transgender? No. But I do get along better with men than women. Except a few people, and you know who you are. Alicia's one of them. That's why I love her so much. You should put that thing inside so you wash your feet inside because you'll never remember. What? Oh, you want it inside? I thought we wanted it outside to keep all the crap out. Just so you can. Well, you do, but you don't remember to wipe your feet out there. Look whose feet are more messed up right now. Yours. Okay, you're right. Anyway. Alright, Finlay, move along. Make the video sarcastic. I don't know what to do. Like, I'm tempted to do it serious because I have an idea for it, but at the same time, I, I like doing funny. <laughs> we know this. I think funny is better. I can do, I might be able to do both. The new Taylor Swift song? Have you heard it? It's quite a bitchy song, but it's good. It's bitchy, but it's good. Yeah. Basically just her throwing shade at all the people in Hollywood she has a beef with. Throwing shade? Yes. <laughs> you know what that means. Don't make fun of me. I know what that means. Do you know what that means? Do I know? I am in that life more than you are. I'm just surprised you know what that means. Throwing shade? Do you know what lit means? Lit? Uh-huh. Like getting lit? Yep. Getting high? Nope. Like getting paid lots of money? No. Nope. See? You don't know things either. Since I choose not to know them. What about someone ask him another one? What about um 
lit is like cool man, says Paul. Oh. Like that's cool. That's lit. Turnt. Do you know what turnt means? Turnt? Turnt. It's crazy who cares. Like the stupidest singing that I've ever heard in my life. Dude, that's so turnt. Or being woke. I don't know what that means. Woke. Bay. What's a bay? What is... Oh, Danny hates the word bay. That word. What does it stand for, though? Like your baby. Uh-uh. Like your love. Uh-uh. Like your... What does bay stand for? Baby mama. What does bay stand for? B-A-E is how you spell it. Before anyone else. So when I call you my bay. Having receipts, shook. We know what shook means, right? Are you serious? Isn't wait? Maybe I'm wrong. Isn't it like, ooh, I'm shook about that. Like I'm scared or upset or bothered or um, hit hard. I don't know the words. Spilling the tea. You know what that means? Spilling the tea. Mhm. Mm that means gossiping. Because people you used say to. That. Because women used to gossip over tea, so they would have these little bench things that were a tea table also, and um, they would just sit and gossip all day long and drink tea. Hype. Yeah, we know what hype means. Shook means surprised. Okay. That's kind of what I thought. Well, there you go. Looks what like is a... Oh, I know nothing. Is that a bad word? I don't know what that is. What is a cuck? Cuck? C U C K? Is that real? I've never heard what that is. Is that a typo? Is. What is that? Spilling tea means giving details on drama. Yeah. So gossiping. <laughs> cuck. I've never heard cuck. I hope I'm not saying something totally terrible. Cuck means a guy who gives his wife to other guys to screw. Like a square, a square. That's rude of him. Who would do that? A lot of people would do that. That sucks. It's a man who likes seeing another man have sex with his wife. That's sad. Gross. So a swinger, a one-sided swinger, is a cuck. So. A cuck. Learn something new every day. Some things you don't want to know. What about a thought? T-H-O-T, -T, thought. Never heard that in my life. Never heard that. Sorry. That hoe over there is a thought. That's the sentence. That hoe over there is a thought. Um, is it like a slut? I don't know what it means. Someone just tell me. A thought is like a hoe. Okay. Okay. But that sounds like the word thought. Why would they name it that? Okay. I have a thought about a that thought. A thought is a hoe. I have a thought about thoughts. <laughs> this is all my teeth. Why do I always wake up with this orange stuff everywhere? If I don't eat, I get, I haven't eaten all day, and I get this, like, orange stuff. It's weird. Winter is coming. Yeah. All right. Mm, tune wedgie? What's a tune wedgie? Wait, I'm going to guess. Don't tell me. Well, tell me if it has to do with music. Because if it does, then I want to guess. Tune wedgie. Let's try that one. A synth? Hmm. He just left Paul. I'll ask him when he comes back. I don't know what a simp is either. Oh, Game of Thrones. I've never seen that show. Don't tell Danny I just drank his Dr. Pepper. Do I know what water sports are? Yes. A song that gets caught in your mind and won't go away. Oh, a tune wedgie. <gasps> That's what I have right now with Taylor Swift's song. Oh, I get those every day. No matter what song is in my head, it's in my head all day long. 
I know I drink Dr. Pepper. My mouth is dry and I'm too lazy to go upstairs. No, I don't think I would like the Game of Thrones. I would like the drama part, but I would not understand it. It's not my type of, like, it's too complicated. For me. Everyone's told me that, and I trust everyone that knows me. Remember 15 minutes ago when I said we were going to end this? Swish, swish. <laughs> swish, swish, fish. Now that's in my head now. They should combine the two and make up and stop fighting except it's really I don't know who started this like what is the fight between the two what the heck I love Taylor's new song that's what we were just talking about I'm gonna cover it this weekend I'll look forward to that Swish Swish is good I hate to say I like Taylor's better if I had to choose but Swish Swish is good too yeah, I don't think they know either. <laughs> I don't think even they know, Micah said. It's true. Have I been watching Big Brother? Yes. Every year it gets better and better. That's not true. There was one year where I was like, this season sucks, and I can't remember which one. But this season I love, but I'm not, I'm, I, I didn't watch yesterday yet, so don't tell me anything about yesterday. But I'm all cut up besides that. And I'm watching older Big Brothers on CB CBS, on the CBS um, app. Who's my favorite contestant? Um, gee, my mind is going blank because I'm also watching a different Big Brother right now. It's so, like, I have two casts that I'm thinking of. Wait a minute. Um, oh, um, let's see. I need like a picture of them. Um, did I want Trisha Paytas to win? That's Celebrity Big Brother. I have not been watching that. I've never watched Celebrity Big Brother, but I should. Um, oh, Paula's your favorite? I think Paula's definitely the best game player. Um, but, uh, I really, okay, I really liked, um, this is a spoil spoiler if you guys haven't watched the season yet. Um, I really liked, um, what's her name? The gorgeous, Jessica. I liked her near the end before she left. At the beginning, I thought she was such a brat. I couldn't even believe it. And then near the end, I started to like her because I thought she was a really good player and really smart and all that, but she's gone. So, um, yeah, I do, I do like, I mean, I like him, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like, I don't know. I like, I like Paul. I think he's the best player in the game, but he's just, it just, I don't know what it is. It makes me, I feel like he's running the whole house and it's like too easy almost. Like he got to come back for a second try and it's just, it just feels too easy for me. And so I like it when like the underdog comes out and takes the win you know what I mean or people that you wouldn't expect and stuff like that or like whoever's the whole house is against and then they get to the very end like I love that type of thing so that's why I liked Jessica so much because the whole house was against her and she was still a super good player so I don't know I don't know who I like I like the guy that looks old even though he's not the guy with gray hair he's really I think he's uh playing a good game by laying low and being strong when he needs to be and being weak when he needs to be and um who else is in this season why can't I picture anybody right now I love Kevin is that word is that his name wait which one is Kevin I love Josh I think he's so entertaining not to win he's a terrible game player but he's so entertaining <laughs> he's so funny Raven Kevin oh Kevin Kevin duh Kevin yes Kevin is one of my favorites. Okay, yeah. Kevin might be my favorite. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, Jason, Alex. Who else? Ooh, Alex, is, she's good too. Um, Christmas. Ooh, Chris. Okay, now I'm remembering. See, I have two Big Brother casts in my head right now. So, okay, Christmas. If she gets to the end, she should win. Like, what the Christmas. crap. Yeah. 
if my foot was broken and they said I needed surgery and I had the choice to stay the, in the game or leave the game, what the poop? I would leave right away. And I would be in a hospital and drugged up and making everybody do everything for me. But she was like, yeah, I'll just get the surgery and come back to the house. No big deal. Huh. That's it. No big deal. Nothing's changed. Just my foot's broken and who cares? And she's awesome. She is so... I love her as a person too. So I love Christmas. I love Kevin. I think he's fantastic. I love him. He acts like he's old and doesn't know what's going on, but he does. He's smart. He And he likes to stir things up and nobody knows that he's the one stirring it up. I love him. So I don't know. It's hard to choose. They're all good. Who else? I don't know. Yes, we're talking about Big Brother. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's probably boring those that don't even. Do I like Honey Boo Boo? Yeah, I miss it. Um, who's Taylor? You keep saying that. Is that like celebrity big brother wait who's Taylor? is there a Taylor? i don't know wait what kevin gave advice on how to cheat to josh Ooh, that's not good that's annoying kevin is handsome are we thinking of the same person the old guy right the old italian type guy or like jersey or something like that Yes, her name really is Christmas. I know, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh. So do you not like him then, Jennifer? When did he teach him to cheat? That's not cool. Unless it was like Big Brother type cheating. There's a difference. <laughs> you have to play a dirty game to win most of the time. I also really respect it, though, when people who don't play dirty games do make it to the end and win. I know, old men are adorable to watch. <clears throat> do I like slime? I'm not a big fan of making it just because it's so messy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, how to cheat on girlfriends? Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that just changed my opinion a little. You must, like, watch the live streams or something. Like, I I only watch the episodes. I don't ever watch. Hmm. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I will pray for you, Creative Bunny. Feel better. I love you. It was on the After Dark. Yeah, I don't watch those. Dang. Well, do you have anything to say? Okay. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a video. I'm sorry if you're just joining. I'm leaving. So you can go and watch the whole thing now if you want. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. And thanks for all the questions. and blah, 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 blah. So I love you and remember forever and always that you are beautiful. You are that. And I am too. too. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. That was really good. It was so pretty.